Floyd Mayweather was born Floyd Joy Sinclair on February 24, 1977, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, into a family of boxers. His father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., is a former welterweight contender who fought Hall of Famer Sugar Ray Leonard. His uncles Jeff and the late Roger Mayweather were professional boxers, with the latter, Floyd's former trainer, winning two world championships, as well as fighting Hall of Famers Julio Cesar Chavez, Pernell Whitaker, and Kostya Tsayu. Mayweather was born with his mother's last name, but his last name would change to Mayweather shortly thereafter. His maternal grandfather was born in Kingston, Jamaica. He attended Ottawa Hills High School before dropping out. Boxing has been a part of Mayweather's life since his childhood and he never seriously considered any other profession. I think my grandmother saw my potential first, he said. When I was young, I told her, I think I should get a job. She said, no, just keep boxing. During the 1980s, Mayweather lived in the Hiram Square neighborhood of New Brunswick, New Jersey, where his mother had relatives. He later said, when I was about eight or nine, I lived in New Jersey with my mother and we were seven deep in one bedroom and sometimes we didn't have electricity. When people see what I have now, they have no idea of where I came from and how I didn't have anything growing up. It was common for the young Mayweather to come home from school and find used heroin needles in his front yard. His mother was addicted to drugs, and he had an aunt who died from AIDS because of her drug use. People don't know the hell I've been through, he says. The most time that his father spent with him was taking him to the gym to train and work on his boxing, according to Mayweather. I don't remember him ever taking me anywhere or doing anything that a father would do with a son, going to the park or to the movies or to get ice cream, he says. I always thought that he liked his daughter, Floyd's older sister, better than he liked me because she never got whippings and I got whippings all the time. Mayweather's father contends that Floyd is not telling the truth about their early relationship. Even though his daddy did sell drugs, I didn't deprive my son, the elder Mayweather says. The drugs I sold, he was a part of it. He had plenty of food. He had the best clothes and I gave him money. He didn't want for anything. Anybody in Grand Rapids can tell you that I took care of my kids. Floyd Sr. says he did all of his hustling at night and spent his days with his son, taking him to the gym and training him to be a boxer. If it wasn't for me he wouldn't be where he is today, he maintains. I basically raised myself, Mayweather says. My grandmother did what she could. When she got mad at me I'd go to my mom's house. My life was ups and downs. His father says he knows how much pain his incarceration caused his son, but insists he did the best he could. I sent him to live with his grandmother, he says. It wasn't like I left him with strangers. In the absence of his father, boxing became an outlet for Mayweather. As the elder Mayweather served his time, his son put all of his energy into boxing and dropped out of high school. I knew that I was going to have to try to take care of my mom and I made the decision that school wasn't that important at the time and I was going to have to box to earn a living, he said. Floyd Joy Mayweather Jr. is an American boxing promoter and former professional boxer who competed between 1996 and 2017. He retired with an undefeated record and won 15 major world championships from super featherweight to light middleweight. This includes the Ring Magazine title in three weight classes and the Lineal Championship in four weight classes, twice at welterweight. As an amateur, he won a bronze medal in the featherweight division at the 1996 Olympics, three U.S. Golden Gloves Championships, at light flyweight, flyweight, and featherweight, and the U.S. National Championship at featherweight. Mayweather was named Fighter of the Decade for the 2010s by the Boxing Writers Association of America, BWAA, a two-time winner of the Ring Magazine's Fighter of the Year Award, 1998 and 2007, a three-time winner of the BWAA Fighter of the Year Award, 2007, 2013, and 2015, and a six-time winner of the Best Fighter ESPY Award, 2007-2010, 2012-2014. In 2016, ESPN ranked him the greatest boxer, pound for pound, of the last 25 years. As of May 2023, BoxRec ranks him the second greatest boxer of all time, pound for pound. Many sporting news and boxing websites, including The Ring, Sports Illustrated, ESPN, BoxRec, Fox Sports, and Yahoo Sports, ranked Mayweather as the best pound for pound boxer in the world twice in a span of 10 years. He is often referred to as the best defensive boxer in history, since the existence of CompuBox, Mayweather is the most accurate puncher among professional boxers, having the highest plus-minus ratio in recorded boxing history. He has a record of 26 consecutive wins in world title fights, 10 by KO, 
23 wins, 9 KOs, in lineal title fights, 24 wins, 7 KOs, against former or current world titlists, 12 wins, 3 KOs, against former or current lineal champions, and 5 wins, 1 KO, against International Boxing Hall of Fame inductees. He was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in the class of 2021. Mayweather is one of the most lucrative pay-per-view attractions of all time, in any sport. He topped the Forbes and Sports Illustrated lists of the 50 highest-paid athletes of 2012 and 2013, and the Forbes list again in both 2014 and 2015, as the highest-paid athlete in the world. In 2006, he founded his own boxing promotional firm, Mayweather Promotions, after leaving Bob Arum's top rank. He has generated approximately 24 million PPV buys and $1.67 billion in revenue throughout his career, surpassing the likes of former top PPV attractions including Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis and Oscar de la Hoya. In 2018, he was the highest paid athlete in the world, with total earnings, including endorsements, of $285 million, according to Forbes. In November, 2021, Sportico released an all-time athlete earnings list, in which Mayweather ranked number 6 of all time, totaling an inflation-adjusted $1.2 billion in his career. About Floyd Mayweather Personal Life Mayweather resides in a 22,000-square-foot, 2,000-square-meters, 5-bedroom, 7-bath, custom-built mansion in Las Vegas, Nevada. In 2008, he recorded a rap song titled Yep that he used for his entrance on WrestleMania Ziv in his match against Big Show. He owns the Mayweather Boxing Club, a boxing gym in Chinatown Plaza in Las Vegas, Nevada. In 2011, he paid for the funeral of former super lightweight world champion and former opponent Gennaro Hernandez, who died of cancer after a three-year battle. He currently owns a team in the NASCAR Cup Series named the Money Team Racing. Floyd Mayweather, the renowned boxer who aptly calls himself Money, has made a significant impact through his philanthropic endeavors. Let's delve into both his charitable contributions and his controversial history. In 2012, Mayweather donated $200,000 to the Three Square Food Bank in Las Vegas. His other notable donations include, $255,000 for the Rainbow Dreams Academy Charter School, $150,000 to Habitat for Humanity in Las Vegas and $115,000 to the Susan G. Komen Chapter of Southern Nevada. Additionally, he has supported various charities such as Cure Duchenne, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the Muscular Dystrophy Association, the Ryan Seacrest Foundation, and the Shriners Hospitals for Children. Mayweather has faced multiple convictions related to domestic battery and violence. His longest jail sentence was 60 days for assaulting the mother of three of his children. Some sports enthusiasts even campaigned against paying to watch Mayweather's fights due to his history of domestic abuse. While Mayweather has made significant contributions to charitable causes, his personal life has been marred by disturbing incidents. His philanthropic efforts stand alongside a complex legacy. About Floyd Mayweather Professional Career Mayweather won his first professional bout on October 11, 1996, when he knocked out fellow newcomer Roberto Apodaca in round two. Mayweather's trainer at the time was his uncle, Roger Mayweather, his father was still imprisoned after his conviction for illegal drug trafficking in 1993. The latter took over as his son's trainer when he was released from prison, after Mayweather Jr.'s 14th fight, a second-round knockout of Sam Girard. From 1996 to early 1998, Mayweather won most of his fights by knockout or TKO. In 1998, within two years of entering professional boxing, Mayweather decisively won his first world title, the WBC Super Featherweight, 130 pounds, championship, with an eighth round technical knockout of the ring world number one ranked super featherweight Gennaro Hernandez after his opponent's cornerman stopped the fight. It was Hernandez's first defeat in that weight class, he said after the fight, he defeated me, he is quick, smart and I always knew he had the speed. I give him respect. He is a true champ. In one of the more definitive and memorable fights of his career Mayweather fought the hard-hitting, former IBF super featherweight champion Diego Corrales, 33-0, with 27 KOs. Coming into the bout Mayweather and Corrales were undefeated, and neither fighter had touched the canvas. Mayweather was the ring's number 2 ranked super featherweight in the world, and number 7 pound for pound, while Corrales was the number 1 ranked super featherweight in the world and number 5 pound for pound. Before the fight was announced Mayweather had stated he wanted to fight Corrales, who was facing jail time for allegedly beating his pregnant wife. I want Diego because I'm doing it for all the battered women across America, Mayweather said. Just like he beat that woman, I'm going to beat him. 
Due to the closeness of their first bout, Mayweather accepted an immediate rematch with Jose Luis Castillo which took place on December 7, 2002. Before the rematch, Mayweather reiterated that he had torn his left rotator cuff two days before the first fight and could not throw a jab or a left hook. He had surgery following the controversial decision over Castillo, and said his shoulder had fully healed. Mayweather, at 27, made his 140-pound debut by defeating former titleist Demarcus Chop Chop Corley, knocking him down twice officially in rounds 8 and 10, and scoring a unanimous decision of 119 to 107, 119 to 108, and 118 to 108. The fight was billed as a WBC elimination bout, with the winner earning a shot at 140-pound champion Arturo Gatti. Mayweather can flat-out fight, Corley's trainer Don Turner said. He's like magic. He makes you move into the punches. Shortly after this fight Mayweather would reach number one on the USA Today pound-for-pound -pound rankings, with middleweight champion Bernard Hopkins at number two. On January 22, 2005, Mayweather fought Henry Bruzels in another WBC elimination bout, outclassing Bruzels throughout the first seven rounds. In round eight, Mayweather knocked Bruzels down twice and the fight was stopped. Mayweather's victory made him the mandatory challenger for Gaddy's WBC light welterweight championship. About Floyd Mayweather House. Floyd Mayweather has an impressive collection of luxurious homes across different locations. Miami, Florida Beach Mansion. Mayweather recently acquired a stunning waterfront mansion on Palm Island for a whopping $18 million. This three-story home features approximately 11,000 square feet of living space and boasts a 5,000-square-foot rooftop deck with panoramic views of Biscayne Bay and the city skyline. The property includes a private dock capable of accommodating a 100-foot boat. Inside, you'll find 9 bedrooms, 10.5 bathrooms, a movie theater, gym, and game room. Western Las Vegas, Nevada Compound. Mayweather purchased this compound for $10 million. It features a 16,357-square-foot mansion, two goose houses, a pool house, a small vineyard, and an underground garage. The estate offers luxurious amenities and ample space for his lifestyle. Beverly Hills, California Estate. Mayweather's Beverly Hills home is even more extravagant. Situated on a half-acre estate, it includes a 15,000-square-foot mansion, a guest house, and a 20-person theater. He acquired this property for $25.5 million in 2017. Mayweather's real estate portfolio extends beyond these three homes. He has also invested in other properties, expanding his multi-million dollar collection. Mayweather's taste for opulence is evident in these remarkable residences, each reflecting his immense success both inside and outside the boxing ring. Floyd Mayweather boasts an estimated net worth of around $450 million. Thanks so much for watching our video, please like, share to your friends and also subscribe to our channel.